Hello everybody. In this video we are going to talk about the vegetative reproduction in bacteria and that is nothing uh, very much special. That is the by, by budding and by binary fission. Let us discuss about them in a nutshell. Okay. So what is budding? Budding is actually as the name suggests by reproduction by development of bud. So you have studied budding in yeast hopefully. So if this is a bacterial cell let's say where is my typical bacterial cell which I make that let's say that is a bacterial cell and it wants to reproduce it has its genetic material over there okay so that's the genetic material first what will happen in budding is that a bud or an outgrowth what is an bud it is basically an outgrowth so it will develop an outgrowth very bad arrow I have made okay no no problem we are going to discuss about budding not about the arrow so it will develop an outgrowth means that let's say over here the outgrowth will going to develop so it will develop like this this is the outgrowth let me increase the size and like this an outgrowth will develop from the cytoplasm uh, uh, it will contain the cytoplasm and it will be covered by the plasma membrane and the what do we say and the wall okay the bacterial cell wall <coughs> and it will contain the genetic material over here which will then after s some time replicate so it will copy itself like this so what happened in this step is that the they developed a bud or an outgrowth and also there happened the copy of genetic material now what will happen let's see let us make our arrow again hopefully I make it better this time okay yeah better than that now what will happen is that let me scroll a bit down okay so here we have a bacterial cell again the bud will actually enlarge this time so bud is actually growing in size so it will look somewhat like somewhat like this and what will happen is that genetic material which we had which we had replicated in the previous step will actually move into this bud so we will have a genetic material over here and the bacterial genetic material will be there as usual this one hope you can understand it it's not very well it's difficult to understand also so that is there and that genetic material has moved to that bud and what will happen at the last is that the bud will grow and grow and grow and then eventually separate out from the bacteria okay so this time the arrow is better hopefully what do you could say so there's the bacteria or let me just move it that was the parent cell and then we have another cell which developed from this bud it growed and make separated and became such a regular shape okay anyways and they have their own genetic material which we will do like this 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 and there so that was budding okay and what is binary fission it is easier than budding okay so what is it what happens in binary fission is again there will be a bacterial cell if you don't have the bacterial cell then what will reproduce so let's say this is red this time and let's say the genetic material is this time black okay oh sorry anyways doesn't matter so there is our genetic material now what will happen is that there will be no copy of genetic material means the genetic material will not replicate as such but there will be some type of fission uh, fissure which will appear in this cell membrane so let me take care of the colors the colors are going wrong okay so this will be black color this time right so there will be some ingrowth 
inside the cell membrane like this okay and this in growth will eventually what will happen the in growth will eventually grow deeper and deeper and deeper and then the next figure will look I hope you have guessed what it will look like it will look like this so there is our in growth which has grown very much deep like this okay and has grown deeper and then what will happen to our genetic material it will actually split means the replication is going on but the replication is making the genetic material uh, uh, making the gen copying the genetic material at the same time it will be split into two halves and what will happen as you have guessed there will be no equal division of the genetic material so the genetic material has not copied itself fully and during the process of copying this genetic material is split into two halves so that's why the genetic material will not go to the both the cells equally and something will happen like this so let me take the care of the colors so let's say that this cell has got a lot of genetic material because it was replicating itself the genetic material was replicating itself and then it split in such a way that this cell got a lot of genetic material and let's say this cell got very few of the genetic material and then what will happen is that this process is called a mitosis type of replication I hope I should write it a, a mitosis this process is a mitosis where uh, it is a type of uh, it is very much similar to mitosis but the one difference it is it is different than mitosis but one of the difference is that the the main difference is that there is no equal division of the genetic material so now what will happen as you may have guessed this color is always very confusing okay so as you may have guessed there is a our neatly drawn arrow which is not so neatly drawn this time and there is our cell which has split into two halves so let me draw it smaller copy pasting will be better or not okay so I have to draw it again yes there there we have our two cells and oh sorry yes now we have our genetic material there we have it the large genetic material how will we draw the large there's a large genetic material and there's a small genetic material and this doesn't care bacteria doesn't care if the genetic material is small or large because the bacteria doesn't have such important thing so such important things that the bacterial genetic material should be divided equally or then the bacteria will not be able to survive but most of the times it happens that when the bacterial genetic material is not divided so equally what happens is that some type of mutation occurs some type of mutation occurs and what these mutations lead to the mutations which are useful will actually lead to evolution and if this process leads to something very bad means this splitting of the genetic material unequally gives this bacteria such a combination of genetic material which is not suitable for its survival it will eventually die off so this causes evolution in the bacteria that was in a nutshell the vegetative reproduction in bacteria thanks for watching and in the next videos we will be going to discuss about each of these processes which are more important and which has more to talk about okay so we will talk about transformation in one video tra conjugation and then transduction and then at last we will talk about the asexual reproduction thanks for watching again bye